This product is the BAM 1020. It's ET's most popular real-time ambient particulate monitor. It measures PM10 or PM2.5 particles. These are fine dust particles in ambient air and these particles have been well proven to be damaging to human health. One of the main benefits of the BAM 1020 is its compact size. It's a very small instrument, which means that we can actually fit it into the smallest of our roadside monitoring enclosures. And that's important because the measurement of PM10 or PM2.5 particulate is often carried out at the curbside or the roadside. So having a small form instrument that can fit into the smallest of enclosures is very much a benefit to our customers. Another one of the main benefits of the BAM 1020 is actually its cost. It's essentially a no frills instrument. It's very simple. This instrument in some cases can be up to 50% less expensive than other PM10 or PM2.5 monitoring uh, brands on the market. The BAM 1020 is inherently reliable. Often data capture can be in excess of 95%. So this gives great confidence to the users, the authorities, and everybody that has an interest in air quality data. So the BAM is very, very simple to set up and to start uh, operating. Essentially, there is a filter tape inside this instrument that uh, has to be changed every two months by the user. And it takes five minutes to change the tape. Once the tape has been changed, there's generally no requirement at all for the operator to go back to the monitor for two months. So I've already explained that the BAM 1020 is a continuous real-time ambient uh, PM10 or PM2.5 monitoring instrument. But how does it actually work? Well, it's actually very simple. On the top of the instrument, Generally protruding through the roof of a monitoring enclosure is the uh, particulate size selective inlet and this one here is a PM10 size selective inlet. So essentially what we're doing here is we're separating the large coarse particulates and we're only interested in actually sampling the smaller particulates that are smaller than PM10. The BAM is connected to a pump, the pump is activated and we are pulling through a large volume of air through this inlet head. And the smaller particles that are less than 10 microns in diameter are actually being drawn gravimetrically onto this uh, filter tape assembly. The BAM is sampling for one hour at a time and at the end of every hour, we are making a measurement of the beta attenuation. Um, and the more particulate matter that settles onto the tape during the hour, the less attenuation there is of the signal. And the instrument is able to calculate the mass concentration of either PM10 or PM2.5 um, for that hour. It's very, very straightforward. We have a spool of sample tape, and this sample tape is 50 meters in length, and it will last for approximately two months of continuous operation. So for two months, the BAM can be left on its own, unattended, to measure hourly concentrations of particulate matter.